The pathophysiology of COVID-19 is very similar to that of influenza. The COVID-19 involves infection of the human airway epithelial cells, first affecting the upper respiratory tract and subsequent progression to the lower respiratory tract. The angiotensin converting enzyme 2 was found to be the receptor for SARS coronavirus 2 which causes COVID-19. S2 is an enzyme attached to the cell membrane of mainly lung type 2 alveolar cells, introcytes of small intestine, arterial and venous endothelial cells and arterial smooth muscle cells in most organs. S2 lowers blood pressure by catalyzing the hydrolysis of angiotensin 2 into angiotensin 1 to 7 as angiotensin 2 is a vasoconstrictor. S2 is the entry point into cells for some coronaviruses including human coronavirus NL63, SARS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus 2. Now let's have a view on the formation of angiotensin 2 in the human body which is formed in a system called as the renin angiotensin aldosterone system. The renin angiotensin aldosterone system is a hormone system within the body that is essential for the regulation of blood pressure and fluid balance. The system is mainly comprised of the three hormones renin, angiotensin 2 and aldosterone. Primarily these are regulated by the rate of renal blood flow. The first stage of the renin angiotensin aldosterone system is the release of enzyme renin. Renin is released from granular cells of the renal juxtaglomerular apparatus in response to one of three factors such as when there is reduced sodium delivery to the distal convoluted tubule detected by macular denser cells when there is reduced perfusion pressure in the kidney which is detected by baroreceptors in the afferent arterioles when there is sympathetic stimulation of the juxtaglomerular apparatus via beta-1 adenoreceptors. The release of renin is inhibited by atrial natriuretic peptide which is released by stretched atria in response to increases in blood pressure. Angiotensinogen is an alpha-2 globulin synthesized in the liver which is also known as renin substrate which is cleaved at end terminus by renin which results in the formation of angiotensin first. Angiotensin first is converted to angiotensin 2 through removal of two C-terminal residues by the enzyme angiotensin converting enzyme primarily through ACE which is angiotensin converting enzyme within the lung. Angiotensin 2 acts on the CNS to increase vasopressin production and also acts on the venous and arterial smooth muscle to cause vasoconstriction. Angiotensin 2 also increases aldosterone secretion. Now, coming to the notable differences between angiotensin converting enzyme and angiotensin converting enzyme 2 that is the angiotensin converting enzyme degrade angiotensin first to angiotensin 2 which is a vasoconstrictor the angiotensin converting enzyme also degrades bradykinin and amyloid beta proteins however the angiotensin converting enzyme 2 degrades angiotensin 2 to angiotensin 1 to 7 which are a vasodilator. The angiotensin converting enzyme 2 also cleave bradykinin, aplinin, neurotensin, dynamorphin A, and ghrelin. The angiotensin converting enzyme 2 counters the activity of the related angiotensin converting enzyme, 
by reducing the amount of angiotensin 2 and increasing angiotensin 1 to 7. The angiotensin converting enzyme 2 is a zinc containing metalloenzyme located on the surface of endothelial and other cells. The S2 protein contains an N terminal peptidase M2 domain and a C terminal cholecterin renal amino acid transporter domain. S2 is a single pass type 1 membrane protein with its enzymatically active domain exposed on the surface of cells in the lungs and other tissues. The extracellular domain of S2 is cleaved from the transmembrane domain by another enzyme known as SHADES and the resulting soluble protein is released into the bloodstream and ultimately excreted as urine. The binding of the spike S1 protein of SARS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus 2 to the enzymatic domain of S2 on the surface of cells results in endocytosis and translocation of both the virus and the enzyme into endosomes located within cells. This entry process also requires priming of the S protein by the host serine protease TMPRSS2. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel The Arismo Healthcare. Press on the bell icon to stay updated. Like and share my videos on social platforms.